Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the One Kids Club 52 show! And you little ones, I didn't forget about you. All right, so welcome. As you can tell, I'm not Brother Paul, but that's okay. I want to share with you guys today. So hopefully everything goes well. You're going to have to show me a little grace. Mom and Dad will tell you what grace is, little ones. But we are so glad you're here. Now let's get up on our feet and get ready for the first song. Woo! That song. That was a good song. Oh, what time is it, Wyatt? It's time to play I Spar. Oh, yeah. I'm stretched out. I'm ready. What right. color is it today? We got a good one. We got a good one today, okay? Right. I spy with my little eye something pink. Something pink. <laughs> I'm going to find it. That's it right there. That's it, Wyatt. No, nope, that's that's, it. that's not it. Hmm. That's not it. What about that little pink piggy? Oh, I didn't even see that. Nope, it's not that either. No, oh man. Am I really hmm. cold? Uh, you're kind of, you're kind of, you're kind of warm. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, you're getting warmer. <laughs> getting warmer. Yes. Nope. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. Yes! That's a good one. We got it. I'm going to call you Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> Sit right there, Dorothy. Yes. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that was a good oh, one. Man. I love that song. Game. I want to play that one again later, okay? All right. Let's get serious for a little bit. Missions. Missions is telling the world Jesus loves them. 
Boys and girls, that's a pretty easy way for us to tell people that Jesus loves them. And that's the way that one church does it. So we got a lot of places all over the world outside of Conway, outside of your neighborhood. So this is us in Conway. That's Arizona, Belize, Zambia, and Mozambique. What did we say that sounds like if we read it? M Mozambique. Bique. Bique. Yeah. And I told him it sounds like that I've got an accent, like I can dance, but I can't. Yeah. So I like the sound of that. So, boys and girls, let's bow our heads and close our eyes, and we're going to pray for our missions around the world. Lord, we thank you that we're able to tell people about your love, and we're able to share that with people all over the world, and specifically the places that we just named here on our map that we're able to help out directly, Lord. And so watch over them, watch over the boys and girls that are there, their moms, their dads, uncles, grandpas, and that they can tell other people about the love of Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I think we got another song, boys and girls. Yes, so we do. Get up, get ready, and let's get to it. My goofy grin, my funny dances, my messy hair, my silly faces, my goofy grin, my funny dances. I've got a friend, a friend in Jesus, he loves everything about me. Was pretty fun that was now we're ready for our memory verse do you, you boys and girls remember our mini verse what about you Wyatt you remember I remember it because this is a good one okay you want to lead us with it yep I got it I got All it right. you ready <clears throat> Isaiah 26 3 Isaiah 26 3 you will keep in perfect peace you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you all who trust in you all whose thoughts all whose thoughts are fixed on you are fixed on you wow this is a good one guys all right let's do this again remember we're talking to god right yes isaiah so be happy <laughs> yep and smile because we're <laughs> praising god isaiah 26 3 isaiah 26 3 you will keep in perfect peace you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you all who trust in you all whose thoughts all whose thoughts are fixed on you are fixed on you 
Amen. Amen. I like it. That was a good one. All right. Are we ready for our Bible study? It's Bible time. Bible time. Yep, yep. All right, kids. Get snuggled in. Get ready. Ready for the Bible study. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Lucy. I am so excited to see you today. It's still raining outside. Can you believe it? I had a really fun idea. Since it's still raining outside, why not play with water inside? Do you like to play with water? Me too. I made two boats. One made of foam and the other made of foil. I want to see how many of these animals will fit onto each boat before it starts to sink. Do you want to help me? Let's try it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, Wow, so many animals. Wow, that was so much fun. Did you guess which one would sink first? Great job. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Playing with water, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. Since it's still raining outside, I decided to play with water inside. That does sound fun. It's true. I have a story about water and animals just for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Friends, I'm Luis, the handyman. Good to see you today. <laughs> it just finished raining, so I'm drying off my table so we can build together. Are you ready to build a Bible story with me? Oh, <laughs> great. Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. There we go. Now, our true story from the Bible begins with a guy named Noah. Noah loved God and always tried to do what God said. One day, God told Noah to build a really big boat called an ark. Noah got to work right away. Uh-oh. I think my boat pieces got mixed up. Hmm. I'll try to build it, and you tell me if it's right. Okay, ready? All right. One. Two. There's a nice boat. Wait, that boat isn't big enough. Let's try it again. One, two, three. There, that's a bigger boat. Oh wait, that's still not big enough. Okay, maybe this will be right. One, two, three, four. Oh, now that's 
a big, big boat. Ooh, that's a huge boat. Way to go, Noah. <laughs> you built the ark just like God told you to. The ark needed to be that big because God had a big plan. God told Noah to put two of every animal on the ark. Hey, what's your favorite animal? Tell me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, I love all those. Let me show you my favorite animal. What are these? Yes, penguins. I love penguins. <laughs> oh, and there are all kinds of other animals too. Here they come. <laughs> Hello, animals. Then Noah and his family got on the boat and God shut the door. We might think that Noah was worried. He was getting in a boat with all the animals and didn't know what would happen next. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And then it began to rain. Oh, can you help me make it rain? Okay, now you're gonna pat your legs like this. Okay, keep going. Okay, well, it rained and it rained and the whole earth flooded with water. But God kept Noah and his family and the animals safe. After it stopped raining, Noah wanted to see if it was okay to get out of the boat. So he sent a bird out to fly and see if it could find dry land. We might think that Noah was worried that the water would never go away. But Noah knew he didn't have to worry because God's got it. And look, the bird brought back a green leaf. <laughs> Yay! That meant that there was dry land where trees could grow. Oh, it was such a happy day when God said Noah and his family could get out of the ark. Noah thanked God for being with them the whole time and keeping everyone safe. Then God did the most amazing thing. God put a rainbow in the sky to promise that he'd never flood the whole earth again. When we see a rainbow, we can remember that God keeps his promises. God is always with us and God's got it. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who's got it? God's got it. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story. It's all true. God told Noah just what to do. And he kept his promise to him, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what an awesome story. God was with Noah the whole time, and God always keeps his promises. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Hey, it stopped raining outside after all of this time. I hope I can see a rainbow. I'm gonna go look right now. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Great story. Oh my, I love that story. No matter how many times I get to hear it, it's always great. God was with Noah the entire time. He built that huge ark. Oh, precious, love it. So boys and girls, I hope that you got the story. She said, get it. Got it. Got it? Good. All right, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.